What is up everyone? I am Jordan, or JKE390, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different than usual. I am joined by actually all 10 members of True Friends Gaming. We have myself, Jordan, JKE390. We have Kevin, Blacksaur325, Kirk, Preason101, Matt, Upside Down Grunt, Tyler, Tarviti, Kyle, Chibi Kai, Ricardo, Raconius, James, Harusol, Eric, Blargschnarb, and we have Char, Charzex Eve. So I basically went and I compiled a bunch of information from things like who is your best friend? Is your best friend really your best friend? And all those other quizzes and tests like that. Like, do you really know your best friend? Etc. Etc. And I compiled them together to find out who in True Friends Gaming is my truest true friend. And to find out for sure, are we really true friends? So with that, we're going to jump right into the video. Talking about whenever we spoke vocally. When did we meet? Was it June 7th, 2013? Uh, you got the month right. 2010? It was June 22nd, 2011. Fuck. I've celebrated it every year since it's happened. I know, and I always forget the approximate time. Uh, we're encroaching 10 years, so it's safe to say it was, uh, it was 2011. The end of April. June 24th, 2011. It was in 2011 on Endgame. That is correct. Do you know the day or the month? No. It was June 22nd, 2011. All right, so here's one that you actually kind of have an advantage on, Tyler, because I actually don't know the exact day. I know around, but not the exact day. I just remember this is a memory contest, and that's the one attribute I have all zeros in. September 15th, 2010. Uh, all of those were wrong. It yeah. was June 2011, and I think it was the 28th, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'm not writing it down. Um, I know it was before we met Desi, who was on July 4th. We met her on uh, 4th yeah, of July. Yeah, I knew TFG was early July, so it's like, I was probably there like two months later. Uh, we, we met you already whenever we started the actual channel. I mean, look, I don't... Okay. Y'all could have met me in like 2018, and I would be like, sure. <laughs> That's true. You do have some of the worst memory I've ever met. 2011? We met on an old gaming channel called Endgame that is not around anymore. Uh, it was October is when the first time you joined our call. You said that you, you had lurked for a while prior. I'm pretty sure in my mind it's the 14th of October, but it's somewhere within like a three to five day thing, ratio in there. That was in a Skype call during someone's stream, during Elix stream, which was in 2000, I want to say 14? The very end of, yes. Back in the end game time, so probably like eight to ten years ago by now would have been around june july uh it was june 2011 oh my god you were at the first streams we had but i think the first time you actually talked to us was like the second or third day so it's probably actually like the 23rd in between talking to kevin and kirk march of 2010 march 20 26 or 23rd 23rd of 2010 but the month was may may not march okay i knew it was an m1 yours i have zero idea so instead uh the question is when did you and Kirk meet? I don't know what date. It was in eighth grade. Uh, he was the new kid in school. And I just he was in homeroom with my best friend at the time. So like me, my best friend and one other person went into the guy's homeroom. And Kirk was just there with like his hoodie on. And like, I'm going to demonstrate what it looked like to me with my penguin onesie. But um, yeah, that's how it looked when I came in the room. And like I saw him there for several weeks and then like the next year we had a class together so we met in eighth grade but we didn't really talk until ninth grade i can tell you the date that we became friends okay when is that that would be october 16th 2009 when is my birthday oh fuck yours coming up in a couple days by the way november 2nd i know i'm so bad with birthdays i'm sorry uh it's the last day of january so 31st for some strange reason, I feel like it's in June. That is unfortunately not true. Uh, January 31st. What time in March? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is the curse. Uh, Would it help if I said I knew your birthday? You, you definitely know my birthday, but me... September 4th is your birthday. Yes, it is. How old are you? I was born in 1994. You can't answer all this stuff. I gotta answer yours next. Although I already know yours is December 28th, 1994, so... <laughs> yeah, 
He's cheating. He remembers everything. It's not fair. It's not fair. Jordan has this like encyclopedic knowledge of everything he's ever done and everyone he's ever met. It's bullshit. Which rhymes with the umpteenth of Ember. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <Am I> close. <laughs> Damn. You worry. You worry. You had a you had a somewhat of a chance there, and no, you were uh, wrong. It is the thirty uh, first right. of January. No, wait, no, Jan- you're January, right? January twenty second. Uh, you got the month right. You got the day wrong. The twenty, oh, the thirty first. There you go. My birthday <laughs> is on the last day of the first month, January thirty first. I I had a vague recollection of it beginning with a J, but I didn't know which month. And yours is July thirtieth. That is correct. Uh, yours is August 26th. I remember this year. <laughs> January 31st, 20... 24... 20, 22. What? It, it slipped. I'm sorry, man. It is the last day of the first month, January 31st. Right, because your birthday's near Josh's birthday. Correct. And they're born on January 1st. Yes. See, this is the worst. <laughs> I just realized what I said. I was born in the year 22. January- Yes, January 31st, 1992. The year was not necessary, but that is correct. I was the, like, the youngest of my age group. Everybody else was born in 91, so I get to sneak by. Um, And you were born June 22nd of 94. That is true. That is true. Why are you revealing my age? You're December 27th. Yeah, that's easy, though. We talk about our birthdays all the time. Um, yours, if I remember correctly, is May 16th. Yeah. Okay, good. I always get yours mixed up with Alex's, so I wanted to make sure I had it right, but... (laughs) Yeah, I give up. Yeah, it is January 31st. What? And like I said, yours is September 20th. Yeah. Kevin, what state do I live in? Indiana. Indiana? You live in Indiana. The fake state of Indiana. Um, Indiana? Indiana. We both live in Indiana. Indiana. Iowa, Maine? And you live in California, eh? California, yeah. Oh, yeah, you live in New York. Yeah. Oh, California. Yeah. And I don't know if you want me to say the state that you live in, but I'll, I'll tell you and you can tell me if I'm right, which is... Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you live in New York. I mean, you don't really have a state, but you live in Canada and, uh, I guess, Ontario. <laughs> yeah, Ontario, yeah. We live in, in Hoosierville, the old Indiana. Hoosierville. And you're a California boy. Yeah, I don't know what we... Uh, we just call ourselves whatever. You're called Californians. Oh. See, I didn't even know that. Yeah. I thought we were just like, see, because I was always told, hey, stupid. So I assumed, you know. <laughs> you don't live super far from LA, so I get it. <laughs> <laughs> On average, what does my daily meal consist of? I think, I believe it's chocolate fudge Pop Tarts. And you usually have a nice pizza. Pizza and Pop Tarts. Pop Tarts, pizza. Pop Tarts in the morning, pizza. I'm trying to, it's pizza, but I'm trying to remember the specific pizza and Pop Tarts. It usually consists of pop tarts, uh, pizza. So I'm not sure what your breakfast or your lunch are, but your dinner is pizza. I don't know why, but chicken nuggets always just pop in my head. I don't know why. A Kellogg's chocolate fudge pop tart, toasted in your toaster oven for approximately pff, fuck it, ten seconds. I don't know. And uh, if it's available, you will drink chocolate milk, but you will have milk if it's available, of course, because you are a water boy uh chocolate your favorite though and you usually don't have lunch unless i make you eat something (laughs) and then for dinner your your primary dinner is a jack's pepperoni pizza toasted in the oven for approximately 14 minutes at 300 degrees and i would say that you got everything right except one tiny tiny issue I set my oven to 15 minutes, not 14. I know you know I have a lot of them, but if I was asked for just one, what is my favorite color? I mean, green. Green? Yes, it is. Actually, I would almost think yours is a bluish, but I guess yours is probably red, huh? Blue and red are kind of interchangeable. I'd assume green. Yes, it is green. And I'd say yours is blue. <laughs> I want to say blue, but I feel like it might be green. But I'm going to go with blue. It is green. Oh my God. Fuck! If I was Eric, I know white is your color in TFG, but I wouldn't say white's your favorite color. You'd like something more of a... I'd say pink, but maybe even like a lime. What shade of pink do you think it would be? Um, You wouldn't like salmon. That'd be too dark. You'd, it would be. It would definitely be like a hot pink. Hot pink and lime. Nice. All right, cool. Green. 
That is correct. Green is my color. Your color is gold, but I don't think that's actually your favorite color, is it? I think you like like a red. Yeah, I think for a while it was red, and then it it slowly changed, like in in aqua or teal. Green, and not the same color of green as my walls. Uh, you, you would be like a foresty green. I don't know the right word for it though. That is correct. What's mine? Oh, your favorite color is yellow. Is it green? It is green, and yours is as well. Yes, that that's why I'm like. I think you're the one who has the same color, favorite color. Which is why you now have purple. Yeah. Which is great because that's my second favorite color. Second favorite, yes. Also mine because they're very complimentary. They're very good. Yeah, they're both very cool colors. Yeah. Purple. Purple is one of my all-time favorite colors. It is, however, not my number one. Uh, then is it green? Yes. I know you tend to use green and purple a lot. That's correct. My The two colors I use for everything, and you're probably also thinking Halo or Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> my my colors are always purple and green. Oh, and I guess your favorite color, since I didn't guess that one as well, uh, cyan or teal. Yep. What senses am I missing? Your sense of taste and your sense of smell. Smell and taste. Uh, smell and taste. Smell and because of that taste... Jordan can't smell and he can't taste. Smell, right? It was a taste. Taste and smell. You don't have a sense of smell. Taste? Can't smell or taste. I also wrote in parentheses, and no, Tyler, sense of fashion does not count. So I went to, to university for five years and I got two degrees. Uh, what are they? Oh shit, you had multiple? Fuck. History? Some type of history? Uh, I know you have a degree in... History. History. Sociology. No. Psy. So. I'll just go ahead and stop you at sociology. History. Sociology, because that's the fake one. You went to college in a way where you took a math class. You didn't actually get any degrees or certificates. Oh, yeah. History and sociology. And then for me to answer the question for you, uh, you got a degree in sociology. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, there was also a once upon a time you were thinking about doing it for photography. Yeah, but that, that was before I even like applied or anything. <laughs> Business and uh, teaching. Nah, I'm blanking. I have no idea. Fine, English. We're just going to go with English. It's not English. Either music or possibly philosophy. Do you, do you have a music degree? Musical theory? You actually never finished, but you went for a lot of different degrees over the years. I remember the last one, I think, was graphic design, right? Oh, yeah. Um, I actually did finish a few years ago. I did an, an online oh. college. Oh, nice. Congratulations. What you end up getting your full degree in? Or was it still graphic design? Yeah, um, certificate in, in graphic design and video editing. As far as I know, you didn't really go to a university, but I know you wanted to do something with art. I do have a certificate in graphic design. And you went to school to become a professional computer. Yep. <laughs> yep. I am to this day a professional computer that, that has the worst databases and other humans <laughs> ever created. Where I don't even know my, my, one of my bestest buddies' uh, majors. And then you didn't really go to university, but you did do your college stuff after for, uh, for music, correct? Yeah. I don't think you, you got a degree. In anything I did not okay I, I have not i uh dropped that after f my second semester of of my arts program because it it was not exactly what i was looking for what would eric get a degree in you just be like i got general studies and be done with it oh finance i was going for um actuarial okay year. were you gonna do something like biology or something or something sciencey yeah so my third year which was supposed to be my second i went back to school i just did liberal arts i got an associates in that and oh, okay. then after that i went for computer science did that for like a year and a half didn't like it switched to science technology and society which is like the biggest bs science degree yeah and i was basically doing like chemistry and um i was gonna minor in math because i already had all the courses that i needed for my first year of college but I didn't graduate, so I have an associate's. What are any of the times that I've needed to have surgery? I don't recall anything like that. Either my memory is bad or I just don't listen. I'm, I'm optimal again on this one. I don't know. I 
cannot recall. I do not recall. I don't remember you having a surgery unless it was like getting your wisdom teeth removed. I don't know. I'm going to say you were in a minor car accident and you had to get surgery on your abdomen. I'm go- not positive, so I'm going to guess that time you drowned. Uh, no, I actually didn't need surgery for that, but that is a thing that did happen. The only major thing I can think of was when you got was a bit by um a snake. Oh, my brown recluse bite. Yeah, I think you had a. Then you have a problem with your eyes. I mean, I always have a problem with my eyes, but never a surgery. I probably should. I have a torn retina on the right side. I know there was something you where you had to like take medicine, and then that like kind of screwed with your with like your 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 sense of, like the, how sensitive your your eyesight is and stuff that is a thing that did happen yes that was accutane that was for scar tissue it was all over my face oh wait was a surgery after no that that wasn't it I, I was thinking when you when you got bit by a freaking brown recluse no but kyle also guessed that one except he forgot what it was and you called it a snake i would have accepted having two hernias removed i would have accepted falling off a highway overpass into a busy street and getting a rock stuck in my head. And I would have accepted ear tubes. I've got a few answers I will accept for this one. Um, But what is my favorite cartoon? Well, I know you and Kirk were talking about this uh, either like a week or two weeks ago, uh, Codename Kids Next Door. Uh, It was a really good show, but it wasn't my favorite, no. Some old classics of... uh... Uh, Ed, Ed, and Nettie. It's not on the list, but Ed, Ed, Nettie was a fantastic cartoon. Uh, Dexter's Laboratory. Another fantastic one, but not on the list. Um, Animaniacs. Animaniacs is, in fact, on the list. It's a show that recently just came back. The Animaniac. That is an absolutely fantastic cartoon. I will accept that one. Courage to Cow the Dog, maybe? I... No, but that was a good one. Uh, I'll give you a hint. This is a show that you don't have in your country. Oh, of course. Um, Metal up. Metal up. Metalocalypse. Metalocalypse. Yeah, I'm going to go with Looney Tunes. Uh, that is incorrect. Uh, Although I do love Looney Tunes. I used to watch it all the time with my dad. But it's not one of your favorites. No. What, what is one of your favorites then? Uh, one that I'm still surprised nobody is saying is Metalocalypse. Uh, uh. For some reason, nobody's saying that one. <laughs> um yeah that's a good point i didn't metal how did i not get we, we literally watched it together metalocalypse metalocalypse is one that i will gladly accept and weirdly enough no one has picked that besides you well yeah we watched it together <laughs> yeah that's what i when i told kirk is like crap we watched that together i've had you watch it with me i've had tyler watch it with me i had Shar watch it with me i had kevin or you or kevin kirk watch it with me i had matt <laughs> watch it with me and nobody remembers i watched metalocalypse <laughs> I've rewatched uh, that show like seven times. Uh, Metalocalypse. Metalocalypse is a hundred percent correct. Cartoon. I'm gonna assume Metalocalypse would be up there. It'd be old and not that good. I'm <coughs> going to guess Johnny Bravo. I don't think that's it. But that's what I'm, my the only one I can think of off the top of my head. Johnny Bravo was my favorite show on Cartoon Network, but actually, no. When you said old and not very good, I thought you had it. It was Animaniacs. <laughs> See, that one's good, though. It if I was going to say not good, I would mind. be talking about, like, Doug but or, it, like, but Hey Arnold. Oh, I love Doug. Oh, Hey Arnold, those are both so good. I know you like them, That's what, but I don't, so I was like, okay, it's something bad. Wait, you didn't like I Hey don't... Arnold? They had Stoop Kid no. and the guy that got carried away by pigeons. My go-to was Metalocalypse. There's definitely one cartoon that definitely sticks out. And so I'm going to go with that one because I have a feeling it's right. I think your favorite cartoon is the Animaniacs. I will accept that. There are two that I will accept, and Animaniacs is one of them. Oh, dude. Yeah, okay, Animaniacs. And then the other one is obviously, most definitely, undeniably, Metalocalypse. That is correct. And Metalocalypse are my two favorite cartoons. Excellent work, Ricardo. And then I guess I have to pick your favorite cartoon. Uh, You said Teen Titans. Maybe I'd say like Young Justice for you. (laughs) How about like Danny Phantom? Yeah, uh, I would say either Danny Phantom or or those kind of shows back then. Like Fairly Fairly Odd Odd Parents. Parents So one of those two would be probably my favorite cartoons. And then Teen Titans, a close third. But Mm. those two shows I just loved. Uh, and then if I had to guess yours, you maybe would... Avatar, Rocket Power. Rocket Power is pretty good. I mean, I had a lot of shows. Woody, 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 I don't woody. think I have one that sticks out as like, 
oh my god, this was like my favorite cartoon growing up. Uh, Fairly Odd Parents. Nope, but you're on the you're on the right network though. It's M Night Shyamalanala. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey Arnold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine if M Night Shyamalan did a live action Hey Arnold? Uh, film? It's Avatar: The Last Airbender for those who didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, Avatar: The Last Airbender. Teen Titans. Yeah, I'd say yours might be something like Dragon Ball. Mine would most likely be like when Toonami was in in its like prime. Gundam Wing, Zoid's New Century Zero, Dragon Ball Z, Trigon, yeah. and uh, Trigon's a good one. Bebop, Roni yeah. Kenshin. Uh-huh. Um, as for you, I don't know. I, I I feel like there'd be so many ways to decide what a cartoon is. I mean, in terms of a community, I'd say you had My Little Pony, but you don't really want to finish it, so that, not that one. Mm-hmm. Ghibli films. So I would just go ahead and say... I watched the movie, it counts. I'll just go ahead and say your favorite, because it's animated nonetheless, is the film Happy Feet. I do love the movie Happy Feet. It is your favorite movie. It, it has gotten me through a lot, and I love the music, and I love the tap dancing, because I was also a tap dancer. Honestly, at this point, I would say your favorite cartoon is probably Avatar The Last Airbender. And I'm, so I'm speaking purely mm. Western cartoons, by the way, not anime. Um, beyond right, that, right, right. if I was thinking... Well, I know you liked Clone Wars a lot. Um, what else would be mm-hmm. other Ricardo's favorite cartoons? Uh, the early seasons of SpongeBob, Fairly Odd Parents. Um, dang, yeah. Uh, I can't. Hmm. But what's your current? Oh, wait, no, I definitely have a favorite, and no, you okay. have not listed it yet. Well, I mean, my actual guess is Avatar: The Last Airbender, anyway. So that would have been mine. So, what is your favorite? So, my favorite cartoon, Western cartoon, of course. Is Justice League and Justice League Limited? Uh, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Um, I'm gonna go with Sonic. The Sonic Adventures, Sonic X, or uh, Sonic Underground? Uh, Sonic X. Steven Universe. I think probably, mostly because how much of the soundtrack I listen to has amplified it. People know I'm a big fan of sitcoms. What's my what is my favorite? Full House. Full House. Scrubs. I'd say Scrubs. Let's go with Scrubs. If it's not, then I just don't want to be your friend anymore. Well, luckily for us both, Kirk, we know Scrubs isn't actually a sitcom because they have a sitcom episode. So purely because of a conversation we had last night, I'm going to guess Parks and Rec. I know that you're currently rewatching The Simpsons, but your favorite sitcom... The fact you don't immediately know the answer makes my heart ache. I'm sorry! You're going to tell me and I'm going to feel really dumb. Uh, The greatest teacher of all time. My own arms are... <gasps> Boy Meets World. Boy Meets World is my That's all-time great. favorite sitcom. Boy Meets World. Boy Meets World. When it's Boy Meets World. Yeah, it Boy is. Boy Meets World. Honestly, I'd almost want to say that's yours as well. So it's actually Boy Meets World is a super close, I'd say almost tied second. Oh, oh uh, wait, 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 wait. Is it Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Yeah. Yeah. I remember you really yeah. liking that too. Fresh Prince is actually fantastic, but I remember you really liking that one. You already said you didn't really watch many, but I guess if I had to pick one of like what would Kyle like, I think in my mind I would have been like Home Improvement, or because uh, you'd have been like I like Wilson. Yep. But I don't think you really watch many sitcoms. I don't think so. Uh, does Parks and Rec count? Is that a is that a yeah, sitcom? Yeah, Parks and Parks and Rec is I'd say could, is a sitcom. I would say that then. I'd say like that or The Office. Office is good too. So maybe just Scrubs. Uh, Always Sunny. Always Sunny. Always Sunny is a very good one. Yeah, it's a very good one. And then what's my answer then for a show? For what's my favorite sitcom? Well, it can't be Scrubs, so it's How I Met Your Mother. Ah, uh, joke's on you. It's That's So Raven. God. Dang. I should have known. <laughs> yeah. I should, if if it there's is. the future she can see. It is Scrubs. Scrubs is a sitcom to me. It'll always be a sitcom. Man, I almost want to just say How I Met Your Mother, but you'd be like, you didn't really like the end of it, so it kind of ended it or ruined it for you because you're Tyler, so it would be like you didn't really like the series as a result. No, it's How I Met Your Mother. It would either have to be Two and a Half Men or Will and Grace. Friends. Uh, don't got one. Unless you can't home improvement. Yeah, that's a sitcom. This isn't my favorite film of all time. This is, what is my all-time favorite film trilogy? I had another one where I was like, ooh, maybe. But I already lost it, so I'm going to lock in the Jurassic Park trilogy. Go with Jurassic Park. Jordan, you insult me. No, I'm kidding. Um, I'm very confident with this. If I'm wrong, I'm pro- my mind's going to explode because oh, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. I'm sure. The Peter Jackson, The Lord of the Rings trilogy. Gotta go with The Lord of the Rings. Uh, the Lord of the Rings? Lota? Lord of the Rings? Gotta go with The Lord of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings? You'll have something like uh, the, the original Star Wars trilogy. I think, oh, 
It's like always a movie I will always enjoy watching. Is Up a trilogy? It's not a trilogy. Well, does it have to be a trilogy? Well, yeah, that was what the question was. My favorite oh, film trilogy. Favorite trilogy. Uh, I don't know. If there's three, it's the Brave Little Toaster. If not, like I think it just might be the Iron Man series. Oh, okay. Honestly, though, the original Sam Raimi Spider Man, maybe that, like you know, or the original X Men trilogy. Uh, the Matrix. God, I, do I have I watched the full trilogy? <laughs> As I say, I, I thought of the list of seven movies you've seen, so I was like, maybe it's this one. Probably, I guess, the original Star Wars, just because I don't think uh, I can think of any trilogies I watched besides that. The Sam Raimi Spider Man films. Yeah, I would say I would say the Spider Man films were pretty good. Um, I could also say uh, the John Wick films. And I would love to say that was yours too, but honestly, I'd say yours is the original Star Wars uh, trilogy. Ah, dude, it's so hard because it's like. I'll accept both of those, either one of those. Blade. Ah, oh, dude, that's a good one. What is my favorite video game? Halo. And your favorite game is Final Fantasy X. Yep. Halo. Which one? Two. That is correct. Yeah. And I'll say yours is uh, the second Kingdom Hearts game. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that's probably my favorite game. Halo 2. Halo. Either Sonic or Halo. So my favorite games are Halo 2, and then Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is very close. <laughs> obviously <laughs> i'm just kidding i know what it is it's halo 2 and i'd say yours as much as you like to mock the series these days is probably kingdom hearts 2 i don't know in recent years i've been liking kingdom hearts 1 a bit more but um cool i think 2 is the one that definitely played a bigger role in my life personally but so yeah sure okay kingdom hearts 2 <laughs> sounds great <laughs> yeah halo it's super mario bros Super Mario World Bros. Incorrect. Because I thought I remember it being an older game. Shining in the Darkness for Sega Genesis. Darn it, it was a Sega game. Oh yeah, because you and I were both Genesis boys. Halo. Uh, my brain immediately went to two. My favorite video game is Halo 2. <laughs> I did it. That's the only thing that matters. Your favorite game is probably something like Pokemon Emerald, because that's the game that you had. Or is it one of the third gen ones? It's the other green one. Oh, Leaf Green. That's the one. I'm going to say Sly Cooper. No, my favorite game is Halo 2. Yes, I'm dumb. And then your favorite game, I don't know, I feel like at this point it's probably like Persona, right? Yeah, it's, it's my favorite game series, yeah. Persona. Number one favorite game, I would still say Pokemon Crystal or Emerald. What does the K stand for in JKU390? Is it cool? <laughs> uh, no, I'm, it's not Jordan Cool. Unfortunately. Middle name. I feel like I've made fun of it enough where not remembering what it was, the K name I'd make fun of most would be Keith. So I'm going to guess that. Um, Isn't it your middle name? Probably wrong, but I'm thinking Kevin. Uh, your middle name? Do you want to dox yourself as Keith? I'm assuming it's your middle name. So what's my middle name? Uh, is it Keith? It is Keith. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Left for Dead Let's Play. That's your middle name, Keith. Kyle. If you were to take away the J and U, we would have a third. Kyle. No. Wait, what? It is oh, not. wait, wait, no, it's, I thought it was. It is not, I promise. I'll give you a hint. It's the most stupid K name. The most stupid Kirk? No, I'm joking. <laughs> no not the person who's the most stupid with a K name. <laughs> uh, I'll say Keith. It is Keith. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure because I'm like, man, what is the stupidest yeah, K what's name? What's a stupid K Keith? <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Keith, it, man. A standalone Keith sounds terrible. Jordan Keith sounds all right. K Keith? It is Keith. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is one that's more of just a, a wild card to see if anybody could figure it out. I made sure it's been the same one every time uh, to make sure it's fair for everybody. Uh, fairly impossible. If you had to take a wild guess, what is the last band I listened to? Dio? No, it was not Dio. Oh, I just I have no idea. No, no clue here. Probably some ska band. Yeah, you're you're not wrong. Uh, real big fish. No, but that's a very good guess. Do I know the band? No, absolutely not. <laughs> it's a ska band. Correct. Whoever's saying all my best friends are metalheads. That's uh, less than Jake. All right, is is it less than Jake? No. And if I had to guess yours, it's gonna be like Panic at the Disco. Against the Current. That was the last 
band I was listening to. Trivium. That is a very good guess. They are in the last two I listened to, but that is not the last band. System of a Down. Destiny's Child, apparently. Almost had it. I was so close. All right, so I'm going to guess the obvious answer, uh, Queen. Um, last band that Eric would have listened to, uh, Celine Dion, <laughs> My Heart Will Go On. It had to have been BTS. Oh, okay. Find it up like dynamite. That's a trick question because it was Celine Dion. Boom. I said that for James. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, um, I think Death Clock. Is it in the ska genre? It is in the ska genre. I can't think of any of the band names. What would Kyle have listened to last? Um, uh, Hatsune Miku. <laughs> uh, no. I tend to listen to, um, it's pretty much the genre is called Nightcore. But the last song I think I've listened to was, uh, Dreamy Night by the well-known youtuber lily pichu so the last band that I listened to was war that's not fair <laughs> straight light manifesto but that's a really unfair one the one i listened to most recently was street light manifesto whatever you listen to matt heafy on his um i don't count that no does that count okay i was about to say if that counts or not what would be my superpower of choice what do i think is the most like the best superpower i think think it's time manipulation you got it all the way down to the the wordage i use yes time manipulation it's a smell no i'm kidding um <laughs> super taste <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty good one mind bullets it's a pretty good one but unfortunately that's not the most powerful in my opinion i want to say teleportation because i feel like you don't personally need time travel but i also know you're not a fan of using traditional transport, and not only that, you can amass all of True Friends Gaming easily if you can teleport. That's true. And hang out with your buds. Those are pretty good reasons. Uh, but mine would be time manipulation. It would be time. Ah. I don't know, like sending pressure waves through the power of rock. As cool as that might look, uh, time manipulation. Would it be super speed? Nah, boring. I want to say teleportation. Flight? Either flight or x-ray vision. Uh, my favorite superpower is time manipulation. So is mine. Oh, okay. Well, I was uh, trying to come up with what Kyle's is going to be. <laughs> I was, I, to be fair, I was going to guess x-ray vision for you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. You're not me, so you wouldn't do a cheating power. I think you'd be lame and do flight. Uh, so mine is a, t a cheating power, and it might even be the same as yours if I had to guess, which is time manipulation. Mm, no, I wouldn't consider that cheating. It's <laughs> If other people have powers, it's stealing powers. Okay. Just flat out. I'm like, nah, you don't get yours. If it's no other people have powers, it is stealing traits. And yours is always every like basic things from flight to uh, teleportation to I'll be able to, to have all the powers, you know, all of, all of those. Yeah. You would you would also want time manipulation so that you could take an effing break for like 20 seconds from work. Yeah, that'd be nice. I just, I just want the power to be happy. Not even a superhero can do that. <laughs> Batman's trying to uh, try and bring yeah. <laughs> And then Kirk's superpower to get skinny. But besides that one, flight or something. Nah, nah, it, it, it'd probably be time travel. Or time uh, manipulation. If, well, those are two know, different things. Glasses. Time travel implies you're going to go to and from the future and or past. Whereas time manipulation, you can pause, you can play. Etc. Etc. Can I rewind? No. <laughs> oh, okay. The tape will get stuck. Travel. Ricardo would like teleportation. Not far off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but yeah. you'd want yours to be called instant transmission. Kinda, but more like just um. I'd say more akin to like Doctor Manhattan, just being able to just appear there, like oh, so like apparition. Well, then my guess for yours is teleportation. <laughs> Mine would be the ability to uh, understand, understand, read, what, write, and speak any language. In my mind, I thought you were going to have, like, yours would be, like, invisibility. But, all right. Who is my favorite superhero? Batman? Uh, my favorite superhero. Moon Knight. Static Shock. Oh, okay. Yeah. Kevin's favorite superhero would be, like, uh, Gambit. Probably, actually. I was thinking about Gambit. I know who it is. I know who it is. I know who it is. I just remembered. I just remembered. Please, Jordan. I know who it is. Booster Gold. 
Man, Booster Gold is so good, but no, it is not Booster Gold, sadly. Yep, and then uh, the other ones that are close follow-ups are basically the same character, one from DC and one from Marvel, although one's a... Well, I'll just say it. One is Nightwing and the other is Gambit. And your favorite superhero is Superman. (laughs) Joke's on you. It is actually... Superman. (sighs) Yeah, it's Kal-El. It's the last son of Krypton. Uh, Man of Steel. uh, Man of Tomorrow. uh, Superman. Clark Kent. Batman. Easy. Easy. (laughs) No. What the fuck? No. Uh, Because my favorite superhero is superhero Static Shock. Well, now I got to come up with who your favorite superhero would be. Probably somebody dumb like Iron Man. Oh, uh, nah. Got it. Nightwing. Neil Patrick Harris is Nightwing. That's a pretty good fucking answer. I'm not going to lie. I might actually just be Robin, honestly. I actually really like Robin and any iteration of Robin. Is it the Flash? No. Is it Batman? No, it is not Batman. Spider-Man. Uh, my favorite is Static Shock. And your favorite superhero is Flash. Yeah. Green Lantern? No. If I had to guess yours, I would say uh, Nightwing. I've always had an enjoyment with Spider-Man, but recently just like Miles Morales. I'm going to assume top DC is Batman, Marvel is Hulk. Uh, I'm not really a Hulk fan at all, and in terms of DC, and actually overall, my favorite is Static Shock. If I had to guess Tyler's, I would say Spider-Gwen or Gwynpool. I think I would just stick to classic Spider-Man. Who is the famous person I would most like to meet? Is it Brendan Small? No, but that would actually be a really cool person to meet. I would like to meet Brendan Small, but no... Who was that guy that wrote Metalocalypse? <laughs> Brendan Small? Would you like to meet Brendan Small? Uh, I would very much like to, and that's also the same answer that Matt gave. I don't know who I would want to meet. Uh, Dean Ambrose. It would be cool to meet Dean Ambrose, but honestly, I kind of forgot about his existence for a while. Brendan Small? No. Or Small? No? Okay. Dang, and if yeah, I had to guess good... who you would want to meet, it would be Mark Hamill. Okay, so I would like to meet Dave Filoni of Lucasfilm. Brendan Small, the guy who did Metalocalypse? I keep telling everybody that's a good answer, but no. Who would it be then? I don't... Matt Hafey of Trivium or William Daniels who played George Feeney in Boy Meets World. Famous person Kirk would most like to meet. You know, I said it already as kind of a joke, but Neil Patrick Harris is probably up there. I I would actually like to meet Bernie Burns. James K. Polk. (laughs) No. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> most um, obscure historical character i could think of cool uh tom holland see i feel like that's cheating for me because i think my answer would be nobody yeah like if i had the option of like you can meet anyone i'd be like can i just not uh, einstein uh yours would definitely be a voice actress or a, a vtuber or something along those lines it would be uh it would be a female that was in something you liked <laughs> Maybe like whoever, whoever the, or the person that played Kirito, maybe. Um, I'm actually not, not too sure on that one. Dave Grohl? Uh, no. Who's somebody stupid that Kevin would, wa- you, Ryan Reynolds. No, Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt's who you'd want to meet. No, fuck no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> not with all the shit going on with him recently. Oh no, is stuff going on with Chris Pratt? He's the worst Chris. I think James Arnold Taylor. You kind of cool to meet. James Earl Jones, yeah, he's cool. Yeah, James Earl Jones. <laughs> I could see you enjoying the company of Paul Rudd, but I don't think that would be who you'd like to meet the most. No. No idea. If I had to guess who the one you'd want to meet most, I feel like you have probably already met him and it was probably like a voice actor or voice actress. No, I haven't met my favorite voice actor. Uh, yes and no. So I used to really idolize John Young Bosch. That was actually I, what I, I was going to say was JYB. Um, uh, I've, I've met him a couple times. Times. he's very great he's a very great uh person um but i always really wanted to meet like the cast of critical role liam o'brien or matthew mercer but m- more leaning on liam o'brien because i've just always wanted to meet him also try like just basically the whole cast of critical role because they're just all uh prolific voice actors at this point in time rick flair who would eric most like to meet uh jessica negri <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> is that right <laughs> Uh, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> Who is my all-time favorite actor? Ian McKellen. He's a very good one. I really like Ian McKellen. But my favorite actor is Denzel Washington. In my opinion, I feel like you would have a male actor that's older in age. I, I really don't know. 
main actor from um school of rock <laughs> no it's not jack black uh my favorite actor is denzel washington i would go with something more mainstream you'd go with like adam sandler or jim carrey or will smith will ferrell i go with those oh oh easy jack black why did you and kyle both guess jack black <laughs> <laughs> i don't know just because of the tenacious d honestly john cena <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it's not uh james earl jones <laughs> My favorite actor is Denzel Washington. Uh, Kevin's is Jack Black. I like Steven Yeun. I like a lot of the stuff he's been doing recently. The Rock. Eric's would be... Uh, hopefully it wasn't Sean Connery. Uh, that would be Ryan Reynolds. Henry Cavill. Your favorite actor might be Jeff Goldblum. Henry Cavill. I, I, I would accept uh, Nathan Fillion. Oh yeah, uh, why did I think of Nathan Fillion? You're freaking but, man crush. No, but even like in general, why wasn't that the first thing I thought? Yeah, I don't know. I I, I don't have like one single favorite. Ben Savage. <laughs> ben Savage is pretty funny, uh, but no. And I feel like we might have just talked about your favorite actor unless yours isn't actually a traditional actor and not a voice actor. Voice actor would probably be either Liam O'Brien or Travis Willingham. Yeah. Just as a person. Um, and like actual like quote unquote well-known would be Keanu Reeves. Okay. Or Jim Carrey, but Jim Carrey seems like such a interesting soul, and then Keanu Reeves is kind of like the a gentle soul kind of person. Kirk's favorite actor, uh, well, it would have to be a male. Why? Because Kirk doesn't believe in women. What? You don't think they <laughs> what exist? Is this, what is this narrative? <laughs> you don't that believe women keep exist? Pushing on our channel. I respect women. Thank you very much. What? I said you don't think they exist. Kirk's favorite actor is Willem Dafoe. <laughs> uh, the guy who played Ant-Man. Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd. I fucking love Paul Rudd. That guy is amazing. And this isn't as much of a question you can get wrong or right. This is more of a opinionated thing. So what phrase or saying, not counting my intros or outros, uh, would you most associate with me? Hang on, guys. My pizza's ready. <laughs> Yeah, I've said that quite a bit. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's fair. Well, then I'll all set up to go because I'll hear it beep in the other room. I would probably say butthole. Oh, you a-hole. Haha, <laughs> that sucks to be you, sucker. Or that, that one where you're like running away or you're getting away with something. I feel like I'd just be like, ha-ha, oh, F you. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Haha, <laughs> F you. Haha, <laughs> that, 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 that one. That I guess I do like there. elongate those. Okay, that's fair. It's it, it's any of Jordan's like just sarcastic, uh, just him bringing something absolutely ridiculous to the conversation that had no business being a part of it like a hi-ho kind of thing hi-ho instead of saying fuck you just say f it f hold on to your anal glands ah i knew it kevin you're an idiot yeah like when someone says something that's like yeah when they say something where it's very questionable yeah you're like yeah 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 you got the you got the inflection right or right, kevin shut up shut up tyler i say that a lot that's true. <laughs> you do say that. I say that a lot. You usually say that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> dingus. A dingus or dang it. Dingbat. Generic stupid white ones from the 90s, like Awesome Sauce. Dude, Awesome uh, Sauce. Yeah, I say that. You're right. <laughs> what would I say after I say gosh? Diddly darn it. Gosh diddly darn it. Yeah, that's definitely a Jordan. Gosh diddly darn it, which I've picked up occasionally <laughs> saying nowadays, which sucks. I don't know if like Kyle does something to be like, gosh darn it, Kyle. You know, or like... But like, kind of giggly, like yeah, vibrato. You, mean. Kind of like, you know what I mean? Eric, you're far away from your mic. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling out a guitar randomly. I was going to say anything that an adult in the early 2000s would write a 90s teenager saying. Like very quick, like wit, witted, like uh, jabs when there's like a, like an opportunity to just like throw it in there. You like... You like making me do uh, dog sound? <laughs> oh yeah, bow, wow, wow. Yeah, any of his impre- Kermit, like him busting out his Kermit ah! or his Donald's, his Donald impressions, pretty on point too. Yay! Well, thanks, Kirk. I didn't say you had to compliment me the whole time, but I like this a whole lot better. Maybe that should be my question. Well, say three really nice things about I have, to, I, have to, I have to suck you off where I can, man. Oh, okay. It's working. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. I'll probably see you again in like another year or so. Yeah, be great. So, Kirk, thank you for joining me. I've uh, very much enjoyed. Of course, anytime, anytime. So, yeah, thank you for joining me, Matt. I feel like I did pretty okay, considering that I don't really hang out as much anymore. 
Well, that's actually pretty much everything, Tyler. We've uh, finished all of the questions. Thank you, Kyle. Cool. Chibi, for uh, joining me on this. So, Ricardo, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you having me and having me. Thank you for joining me, James. I appreciate it. Yeah, anytime. Um, well, not anytime. I'm usually the busiest one of the of like the quote unquote active group, I guess. So Eric, thank you for joining me. Of course. My pleasure. Shar, thank you so much for joining me. I will let you know once I tally up all the scores. Um, and by which I mean whenever this video comes out and everybody gets to see my scores, uh, where you landed. So now we're gonna end this video here. I hope everybody enjoyed. And until next time everyone, later. Bye. Love you. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Guadalajara. Bye. Bye bye. Take care. Goodbye. Bye. Without taking bonus points or half points into account, here is the final score table. Comparing this to my expectations, I figured Char would have the top of the list. She's put up with me the longest, and opposed to everyone else on the channel, she actually has to put up with me in person. Next, I figured it would either be Kirk or Tyler, since they're the ones I've talked to the most regularly in recent years. I figured Kevin and Ricardo would be down a few points because life has kept them so busy the last few years, and as a result, we don't get to hang out near as much as we would like to. After that, I expected to see Matt and Kyle, mainly because they're the two most quiet members, and I feel like Kyle is one of the few I haven't had one of those super manly heart-to-heart -heart, super sitcom bromance conversations with in the group. You'd actually be surprised how many times in this group we've had calls like that, pouring our hearts out to one another and making sure everybody knows it's going to be okay and, you know, uh... Oh, right, um... So then finally, at the bottom of the list, I expected, like, James and Eric. Since we started this channel back in 2011, James has been around the least, so I figured he'd lose a lot of points that way. And Eric, because he initially joined as an addition with Kirk, so I guess his indoctrination into True Friends Gaming wasn't necessarily as natural as everyone else. And as a result, I think this video really helped with that, because I feel like I learned a lot more about James and Eric, and I like to feel like we grew a little bit closer after that. Anyway, I guess I should conclude with this video. I'd like to say I'd like to make a lot more videos like this in the future, but there were over six hours of footage I had to siphon through, with 18 different video recordings and 18 different audio recordings, not counting the stuff I do in post-commentary, such as this current recording I'm doing. The one happening right now. For you, the audience. So if I do more of these, they will be much longer term projects, but still, if you would like more videos like this, or stuff like this but smaller, please let me know. Whether it's through a comment, a tweet, you joining our Discord telling personally, etc, etc. I, I would like to know if you guys would like to see more stuff like this, because it helps inspire everyone to kind of want to participate in these things, and it makes me feel a lot better about doing 12 plus hour editing sessions when we know we're never going to monetize True Friends Gaming as a channel. Beyond that, I hope everyone enjoyed, uh, you know, all that boring stuff about subscribing, following, liking, favoriting, five-starring, making a playlist, commenting, following our socials, following Kirk to work, erecting a statue in our honor, tearing it down, building a better one, and other professional online internet people stuff. Uh, thank you for watching. And have a great day, and until next time, everyone, later.